NetEase is rapidly becoming Skynet, set to take over the mobile market and terminate the competition. Insert Dawn of Isles, a MMORPG in a market bursting at the seams with MMORPGs. Does NetEase have what it takes? Can the market survive with yet another of its kind? Will NetEase do it again? There's only one way to find out. It's Ramble Time! Dawn of Isles is available on Android and iOS devices. Dawn of Isles is an auto-questing MMORPG. <coughs> Let me be more detailed. Dawn of Isles is an auto-questing, resource-gathering, item-crafting, story-undertaking MMO adventure. I'm not going to bore you with every single gameplay mechanic. The truth of the matter is, you've played this game before. It's a mashup of a dozen other games, and nothing I say about it will change that. Instead, I will focus on one surprising aspect. You actually engage in the combat. That's the sound of my mind being blown. You actually tap the attack button, use specials, and throw out bombs. Yes, it's 2019 and I'm congratulating a game for letting me control its combat. Sure, there's the tap for auto run to a quest, yet that's it. The auto run is useful, but the ability to fight like a real game gives Dawn of Isles a much needed boost to beat the competition. The rest of the game does provide some distractions. The crafting of items can be rewarding, the interesting story is worthy of a read, and the variety of questing is a plus. The game even allows you to build your very own island and plant crops. It's all serviceable content that's supported by seamless combat. Plus, I really like to gather resources from my dead enemies like some sort of monster hunting maniac. Now that I sort of went over its gameplay, let's talk about the magical graphics. I'm talking blaster eyeballs with sparkles of joy. It's pretty much a Pixar animation on your device. The colorful playfulness and unique designs come together to create a wonderful experience. The character movements may look janky at times, Times, yet I feel it's on purpose, making it all part of the charm. I do wish I could zoom the camera in just to get a super close-up and soak in all the goodness. The camera does allow you to rotate it, giving the player a full 360 view of the environments. Speaking of environments, the world is full of life, full of greenery, and complete with weather effects. The graphics have an assortment of settings, including ultra resolutions and 60 frames per second, if your device can handle it. Overall, the graphics are a highlight and turn this average game into something spectacular. Okay, so the game lets you actually play it, and the graphics let you enjoy it. The only thing left to talk about is the inevitable monetization. It's everything you'd expect. Use premium currency to purchase resources, item packs, and other stuff. Honestly, I didn't spend too much time digging into the freeness of the game. In fact, like most of these games, you don't really need to early on. I am sure the need for greed is oh so present, yet for the most part it's an enjoyable free experience. This may change the longer one plays, so just keep a suspecting eye out for the dawn of paywall. Now it's time to decide if NetEase has actually done it again. With all aspects considered, NetEase, you kinda did it again. As Dawn of Isles comes in as a plus, give it a try. I'm the first to admit that the mobile MMO market is as stale as an open bag of potato chips, yet Dawn of Isles breathes some life into the genre. The active battles are an unsuspecting plus, the mesmerizing graphics are a fantastic bonus, and the monetization is just average. If you're sick and tired of all things MMORPG, then maybe you should consider a pass. Yet those looking for a decent, even rewarding distraction from the usual will find plenty of enjoyment here. So if you ever wanted to control your game while looking like an over-exaggerated Disney character, then go ahead and give Dawn of Isles a play. As always, thanks for watching Tiny Little Games. Please subscribe to support my channel, like for more videos, and ring that notification bell for video updates. Fun fact, I dropped my phone and cracked the screen. Then I realized I only cracked the screen protector. <sighs> That's the sound of relief.